good many years ago, I was uh, employed in a research lab as an engineer. I had a colleague who was a patent physicist. We worked on the same projects together. Um, at one point, in contravention of a great many regulations, we managed together uh, to buy a computer uh, out of project funds. And after a good bit of time, we put Unix on it and got that to work, and we discovered UUCP. A little bit later, we discovered the ARPANET, and we could both instantly see the boon that networking would have for scientific research. The ability to do asynchronous collaboration by email, to share files, to share computer resources. And we talked about that a lot. But my colleague had a different idea. He thought that everybody should have access to the network. He saw it as a way to distribute knowledge, as a way to encourage literacy and, inform and distribute information, as a way to elevate the human spirit. And we talked about that a lot, too. But he did more than that. He believed in that vision. He resigned his post, cashed in his retirement, borrowed money from friends and family, and set up an internet business. Business was designed to, re to relieve the populace of the tedium of grocery shopping. The idea was either by Telnet or FTP, you would get him a shopping list, and he would go out and buy the groceries and have them delivered to your front door. Of course, internet penetration in those days was in a sub-percent level, <laughs> and what there was was 300 baud dial-up. Unsurprisingly, the business faltered and, and failed. Uh, my friend at this point, uh, deeply in debt, um, dispirited but not disillusioned and in poverty, uh, tried to re-enter the workforce without great success. And a few years later, he died. I am deeply honored by this award. I wish to dedicate my membership to my uh, colleague and visionary friend, Dr. Bruce Henriksen of the U.S. Army Ballistic Research Lab, Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. Thank you very much.